what's going on north node and capricorn aka cap city i hope all is well with everybody it's your girl d here bringing you a north node and capricorn reading for the month of august if you have not subscribed make sure you do so make sure you hit that notification bell that way you'll know what I post. also don't forget to subscribe to my other channel called mini styles of tarot the link for that is in the box below as well as my contact information and the types of readings I offer. All right, so check that out if you're interested. Now, the North Node is the energies that you were brought into this lifetime to master, okay? The South Node energies are the energies that you've mastered in your past life and or your childhood. And those are energies that are going to uh, help you to uh, master the North Node energies. The South Node is not good or bad. Neither is the North Node, okay? It's simply how you use them. You know, there's positive and negative energy. There's positive ways to use the energies and negative ways to use them also for each node, okay? So there's not one that's, you know, all bad or one that's all good. They both can be dangerous. You know, the North Node is dangerous because it's new energy. You're not familiar with it. You're not used to it. So if you, you know, uh, jump too heavily and too quickly into those energies, you may find yourself sabotaged whether it's self-sabotage or others around you who see the, you know, the novice in you, so to speak. Um, and they take advantage of that energy. All right, the South Node, you can get too lazy and get too stuck in that because you're familiar with that and that would keep you from uh, moving forward. So you just have to use both wisely. So we're looking at North Node and Capricorn, South Node and Cancer. So in your past life with the Cancerian energy that you've mastered, um, this could be energy in reference to um, you being um, uh, heavily uh, immersed in your, it could be your past life and or your childhood, your past, you know, if you're an adult now, your childhood in this life. So you could have been heavily immersed in family, you could have been known for your family, you could have the, uh, you know, how you have certain towns, like, you know, you grow up in small towns or even big cities where, you know, you have families who are known, like you got the Hiltons, you know, um, you got the Trumps. Uh, you know, um, you have the Obamas, you know, you have the whomever, right? These are um, family names where you know who all the members of the families are or you're familiar with them or they've all been in the public eye or not even necessarily, you know, higher level in the public eye, but the, the, the community knows who they are, right? Oh, that's a such and such. Oh, that's a, you know, that's a Jackson or that's a, a Hubbington. Or, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So you could have been in those, submerged in those energies, uh, in your South Node Cancer energy. And now as a North Node in Capricorn, you may want to branch out into the world and get away from being known as, um, you know, a Marcello or being known as a Johnson. You know, you may want to strike your own accord. Maybe your family is well known and famous and, you know, you come from an environment of a lot of tradition, a lot of money. And maybe you want to make your own name, right, in the business world. So say Paris Hilton says, okay, you know, yeah, I come from, you know, hotel um, ownership or hotel management, entrepreneurship. I come from that legacy. However, I want to strike it um, out on my own accord and I want to go into um, designing because she knows she loves her dogs. She want, she may want to go into doing something for um, dogs, you know, some type of industry where, you know, it's specialized for pets, right, or something like that. But it's all about you striking out on your own and separating from a family environment or a unit where you there was loyalty, there were certain loyalty, certain traditions, certain values uh, that uh, were acquired, which is why that group or that energy is uh, who it is, right? Um, so, or maybe you grew up in an environment where everything was about the home, taking care of the home, family first. It's all about family. And now maybe you grow up and maybe you decide, okay, I don't want to be married. I don't want to have a traditional family environment. I just want to, you know, I don't care about, you know, staying home. You could be a woman. I don't care about staying home. Maybe my mom was a, a stay-at-home mom. I don't want to be a stay-at-home mom. I want to go out here and hustle and get this dollar, right? Or you could be a man who grew up in an environment as a child with the Cancer North Node where, you know, your mother stayed in the house, she stayed home, she took care of the kids. And now as you, as a North Node Capricorn, you could be looking for a woman who embodies that energy or maybe you don't even want to be married. Maybe you don't want children. Maybe you don't want that type of environment because you knew um, how it felt when your father wasn't home a lot. You know, he was always out and maybe you don't want kids because you don't want them to experience that. Just some examples, okay? 
But what's going to happen is the universe is going to put you in circumstances and situations where you're going to move away from that Cancerian energy that you're familiar with, that you're comfortable with, that you're acclimated to, and push you towards that Capricornian energy, which is all about um, setting your own rules, your own record, you know, initiating your own path, um, putting your own morals and your own stamps and your own ethics on things as you move forward through your life, okay? So... Overall energy, speaking of which, this is all about you moving forward towards your energy, okay? The devil energy doesn't necessarily have to be all bad, all right? It just depends on the energy around it, around it and what's surrounding it, okay? It could be this is energy you need to come up out of, all right? Or this could be energy you may need to implement and balance in a way so that it benefits you. We got the king of swords. Oops. King of swords, three of wands. Just so you guys see the cards, the uh, sun energy of Leo, major arcana, the major arcana of the moon, got the sun and the moon, and we got temperance in here, okay? Sagittarius energy. So we got Leo, Cancer, Neptune, Pluto, and, and uh, Jupiter. Okay. Aquarius is here, minor energy. So the current situation, I feel like with the King of Swords energy, there could be, um, there could be some type of of communication that you may need to give to someone, or some messages, or some type of conversation you need to have with someone. The challenge is, is you're trying to make sure that you're it's well thought out and it's well prepared, right? There could be some type of forward movement that you want to do or you want to take could be some type of documents you want to sign maybe you want to start a business right so you may want to go speak to a lawyer um but the challenge is is you uh, making sure that you're in a position where you're looking at okay what's important to me how should i go about this because this is venus in um in aries with the three of wands it's like okay i'm definitely gonna move forward with my aries energy but with venus ruling how is this important to me you know what's important to me what's important about how i move what is of value to me? You know, uh, what about loyalty? What about trust? What about respect? What about honor? These are all um, uh, energies of Venus, right? So with this King of Swords energy here, I feel like um, this is just an energy of you taking action. Kings are all about power and they're all about taking action. So you want to take action as far as moving forward because that's what Aquarius energy is moving forward possibly detaching from a situation um that you were in because that's what the um aquarius energy is so you may be and it's also like a rebel it may it comes off as rebellious or a renegade so maybe you're detaching from that cancerian energy and you're trying to make sure that your detachment is something that is done based on your um your standards it's done on your your accord uh, it's based on your values, your morals, how you want to do things, right? So what the universe is telling you, your guides in the universe are telling you is to, is that that's going to be successful for you. As long as you're doing it based on morals, values, principle, okay, um, loyalty, respect, those types of things, uh, things are going to go well for you moving forward. The thing is, is what you're focused on or what you should be focused on is what's not known, right? You don't want to focus on, okay, it's obvious that you're somebody who wants to move forward. You want to go out there and, and establish yourself. You know what I mean? People know this, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. But what you should be concerned about is what you don't know, okay? Because if you can, you know, get a hold of that or you can understand, I feel like this moon energy is like, yo, just tread lightly. Don't be too in your, don't be too cocky with the sun energy. Don't be too cocky just to jump out there. Stop and think about what's important and how you want to go about it and doing it in a manner in which is respectable, right? Because the devil deals with rules, like it's rules to certain things. It's etiquette. That's what can't. That's what a Capricorn energy is, right? So making sure you you understand the rules and understand etiquette, right? And um, using that, using that wisdom and that understanding, so that you're able to move forward in a way that looks respectable and that is not going to be disrespectful or or um, cause any type of uh, ruffle or ripples in the moral fabric or the ethical being of, of the situation. Let's take a look and see at the top five cards here. Oops, that was in reverse. Okay, so we got the, the devil energy. 
the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so you don't want to rush. You want to take your time. Cancerian, I mean, Capricornian energy is an energy of, and this is you being successful in business too, I feel like for a lot of you. All right, so you want to strike it out on your own, right? And be financially stable and successful. And this is all about power. Okay, how do you amass power? You have to be balanced, right? Because the more power you have, the more temptation is going to come to you. And so you don't want to be hasty in your decision. That's why you want to focus on the things that you may not see coming. Or you want to try to prepare for the things that, um, you know, any type of uh, snafus or pitfalls that come around. You don't want to just run and jump in right with the leo energy you don't want to just run and jump in so you know you want to take your time and put you know things in place this is judgment energy right pluto energy power like i told you you got the devil energy here and and judgment energy so this is all about amassing power wealth fame prestige respect honor all right all of these things here is what you're trying to amass right as well as the ten of pentacles legacy Okay, you want to keep respect for the family. You don't want to just jump out there, right? Or you, this could be you establishing your family legacy. Okay, maybe you didn't have one growing up and now this is what your goal is, right? So with the seven of cup energy in reverse here, this is you, um, again, making sure that you leave no stone unturned, right? You've looked under every cup and you've emptied it all out to find out what's going on. So I feel like that's what some of you are going to be doing. There's going to be trials and tribulations that are going to come towards you. And you have to go through those in order to get where it is that you need to go. Just like anybody else who's got their rise to the top, right? And it doesn't have to be that you may want to be in a, a business. Maybe you just want to separate from your family or you may want to set up a foundation. You want to set up a business, right? Maybe you don't want to be a work at home, a stay at home mom. Maybe um, you want to be able to work from home and still uh, take care of your children, okay? Um, maybe you want to be a stay at home dad, like, and you want to work from home because you got other things going, you know, it's 2022 now. Everybody's not going out to the office. That that type of thing is, you know, not as um, is not as popular as it used to be. Now people are working from home, so it could be about setting up uh, working from home environments. The world energy came out in reverse to clarify the King of Swords. This is Saturn energy, Saturn in reverse. So there's um, putting rules and regulations in place, putting law in place. Tell me more about this uh, world energy. There's a cycle here also that may not have been completed yet, right? This is the beginning of the cycle. It could be there's some lessons to learn with the world in reverse. Yeah, and the Ace of Swords reverse is things you don't know. And you got to get into that King of Swords energy and venture out there and find out what it is that you don't know. This is a journey you're on. Tell me about this Three of Wands. The challenge is, is taking your time and, and, and making sure that you um, dot all your I's and cross all your T's. You know, with the Venus energy, what's important to you? Establishing value, establishing morals, right? Um, establishing secure connections, loyalty, you know, faithfulness, right? And with the wheel, that's what's gonna that's what's gonna benefit you. This is what you if you approach it in that manner, things are gonna go in your favor. Okay, this is the way your cycle is supposed to go. This is what you're meant to experience. You're on your path. Tell me about this wheel of fortune here. Good luck, good wisdom, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance, Sagittarius, Jupiterian energy, all right? Learning from your um, family, learning, you know, look at how they did things or look at what it is that you experienced as a child or and whether it's you're going to take from those things and establish your own morals or you're going to use those morals and those traditions that you've learned in your family environment and use them in your favor. Yeah, again, the sun energy, yo, I'm telling you. You on your path. You on your path. Yeah. The lovers. You got to make some choices. What's this uh, lovers? We got all these major arcana here. So this is a major contemplation here for you. This is no joke. You're really trying to figure out, look, what's the best way to go about the death energy in reverse? Yeah. There could be some things that you're afraid to let go of. Okay. Um, there could be transformation that you're going to have to go through. All right. What's this death energy in reverse? Tell me about that, please. All these major arcanas, the wheel of fortune, the sun, the lovers, the death in reverse. Tell me about the death in reverse. Okay, the knight of cups. Yeah, there is, see. There's a choice here you're going to have to make to let go of, of 
this is all about with the death energy in reverse and the knight of cups this is all about um making the choice to outgrow the current situation or to move away from the family name or to move away from however the cancerian energy represented in your life this is what this is all about tell me about this sun but i feel like you will be successful tell me about this sun yeah we have the eight of cup energy in reverse so this is um piscean energy uh saturn and pisces and here's saturn here okay so saturn is all about lessons rules regulations it's also about constriction but when it's in reverse there is no constriction or you need to have some restriction so this is walking away and learning a lesson so this is you going out on your own okay the universe is like you going out on your own. You've thought about this numerous times before. This could just be you uh, as a married woman deciding that you don't want to be married anymore. You want to you wanna be single. All right? Or this could be you as a married man. Maybe you were a family man and now that your children are grown or whatever's going on, now you decide that you just want to be single. It could be any of these things, but you're moving away from whatever the Cancerian energy is for you. Tell me what this moon is, because this is what you're supposed to be focusing on, the things that you don't know. What is it that you're not aware of? All right, we have the Six of Cup energy in reverse, unrealistic expectations. All right, so again, this is keeping your head, keeping a cool head, not getting too caught up in your, um, in your power or whatever and going too fast, right? Using the judgment energy of Pluto to uh, balance the internal, because um, uh, Pluto's all about power and it's all about power dynamics right between you and whatever energy it is or between you whether it's internal you balancing your emotions or whether it's external but there's a dance that you have to do so that things stay aligned and stay balanced and that's what it is that you're going to have to do you're going to have to do that dance tell me about temperance yeah the seven of swords right and so this is something that um you may not know or this is something that um I feel like this is something you don't know with the Seven of Swords energy. This is something that you're coming into understanding and learning. And this is some, This is like, this is what you're going to have to learn. So there's some things that you don't know. And for you to get to that success and get to that balance, you're going to have to learn these things. And you're going to have to go on that, on that journey to do so. So there's going to be some knocks and bruises with the Seven of Swords energy and this, this, this moon. There's going to be things that are going to come up. But you have to be in a position where you have to be open and you have to be humble is what I'm getting here. And you'll get where you need to go because you got power coming to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is coming to you. This is naturally yours. This is your birthright. And once you get this power, it's like it's not going to come easy for you, but you definitely going to get it. If you, um, you know, focus and do things the right way with integrity and respect, you're going to get yours. I like this reading. This is super dope. I like the energy. It's getting me amped. This is fire. I love it. Good luck to you, uh, North Node and Capricorn. If you need a personal, reach out. My information is in the box below. Take care.